Liam had said that, uh, you know, with the stuff that went on in the off season that he did sit down with the, I think he said the front office and, and uh, I forget what term he said, they gave a bit of a chewing out and well-deserved. Did mm -hmm. you have to sit down with Liam and talk about, you know, I mean, he is the captain and, and that kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have a good relationship with all my players and I do feel a responsibility to, um, you know, maybe mentor isn't the right word for a, you know, 32 year old guy, but uh, I do feel an, uh, you know, an obligation as a, you know, a manager and a leader. Uh, and with my relationship with these guys to continue to mentor them not only just on the field but off and you know So we've had some good conversations. It wasn't just one quick one. It was you know one after what happened and you know I, I meet with my players formally and informally all the time uh, we had another good chat uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, You know he Liam's a very good guy and he uh, he took that you know what happened and the, the somewhat the um, You know somewhat the criticism uh, hard um, you know he wants to be a good leader for this team he wants to be a guy that's that's representing the club in the right way and uh, you know I, I really uh, respect him uh, obviously he, he knows that situation was a difficult one um, you know uh, obviously we're, we're continuing to uh, wait for the league because there's continuing to do the review um, it's, it's great you know, with our announcement last week that, uh, you know, we can partner, uh, you know, with a, with a, you know, turn into a positive. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, I trust Liam's ability to lead. Um, you know, we all make mistakes. We don't take those things lightly at all. Um, you know, but I'm not just going to abandon my players, uh, you know, on mistakes. His captaincy never in question? Um... For me, I uh, wanted to take time to look at the situation, obviously, and, and understand it. And, um, you know, uh, for me, I remain status quo. Um, and ultimately, I'm confident in his ability to, to lead this team. But we're not just a team of one leader, you know. I mean, everybody puts a lot of emphasis on the armband and the captaincy. Um, you know, we have a lot of leaders in this team, and uh, he is a key leader. Um, but we have, you know, five, six other guys that are key leaders. And um, for me, I, I don't look at that armband uh, as one leader. Um, but uh, he knows in representing the club that it's important that he does, he does the right things um, on and off the pitch. And I'm confident that uh, he will do that moving forward. With, with just Jake getting involved in that, you mentioned um, obviously his situation is different, but um, the importance of being able to turn what happened into somewhat of a positive through Jake's mm -hmm. involvement and through the team's involvement in uh, the mm -hmm. city initiative. Yeah, absolutely. You know, obviously, uh, it, uh, there was a mistake made. Um, talked a lot about it. You know, um, we were not brushing over it. We haven't taken it lightly. The league's reviewing it. We've reviewed it. We've called them accountable. Um, but but we do need to move on from it. And uh, you know, we believe in these players' character. Um, and we believe that mistake won't happen again. And uh, we believe that uh, those these players have learned from it. And uh, you know, Jake and Liam are going to turn it into a positive. Um, and uh, again, it's my responsibility, even though they're professional players and they're adults. Uh, to hold them accountable, but also uh, continue to guide them and mentor them uh, on and off the pitch. And uh, part of that will be, you know, having accountability. Part of it will be turning it into a positive, um, you know, with, with, with us, you know, uh, working in with the community. Um, but uh, eventually we're, we're going to have to move on from it. You know, mistakes happen, we got to move on from it.